For many years, AL amyloidosis was an orphan disease. We were trying to get drugs from myeloma treatments, but now there are effective treatments. We are able to control the disease, and a lot of new drugs are being tested in amyloidosis. The treatment in amyloidosis is moving forward in two different ways. One is we've got new types of drugs which will kill the abnormal cells in the bone marrow, similar to the standard treatments, but they're improvement on the standard drugs. So we've got two new proteasome inhibitors, or well cared like drugs, one of them called as carfilzomib, and another called as ixazomib, which are both highly effective proteasome inhibitors. Carfilzomib is given intravenously, whereas ixazomib has got the advantage of being taken as a tablet every week. Both of these drugs are being studied in amyloidosis. We are running clinical trials with both these drugs to assess their effectiveness in amyloidosis. We, there is a new monoclonal antibody, kill, uh, which is very effective in killing plasma cells, called daratumumab. This is a drug which has been extensively studied and appears to show great promise in myeloma treatment. And a clinical trial for this is being planned for amyloidosis, hopefully starting quite soon. And we think this will be a relatively non-toxic but highly effective treatment in patients with amyloidosis, particularly those with heart involvement. The key issue in amyloidosis is not just killing the plasma cells and reducing the light chains, but to improve the organ function, to actually clear the amyloid protein deposits. For many years, we had no means of actually doing this. We know that in the body, there are immune cells or scavenger cells which will eat away the amyloid deposits. There are new immunotherapies which can accelerate the clearance of amyloid deposits from the body. And there are two or three such antibody treatments which are being studied in amyloidosis. One is an antibody developed by a company called Protina, called NEO001. There are two phase three, which means very advanced phase clinical trials going on. One for patients with amyloid in the heart in the newly diagnosed setting, and one for amyloidosis in patients who've already got heart dysfunction. And we hope that this antibody will go to licensing provided these trials show good results. There is another approach that we've developed within the amyloidosis center in the UK, targeting a small protein called SAP, the same protein that is used for SAP scanning for imaging amyloid deposits. This is a protein which is present on all amyloid deposits, and we have a monoclonal antibody which can target these deposits. We have done a small early phase trial with this antibody, which has shown very rapid clearance of protein deposits from the internal organs, and hopefully this antibody will move forward into future trials in the, near, in, in the future. There are a number of small molecules which are drugs which can be taken which interfere with the way the amyloid protein will misfold or protein deposits form. One of these drugs is an antibiotic called doxycycline. It's an antibiotic that's been around for over 40 or 50 years now. It has been shown for some years that this antibiotic will interfere with the deposition of amyloid fibrils and may protect the heart against the damaging effect of amyloidosis. We have just done a small study which has shown that we can improve the survival for cardiac patients with doxycycline along with chemotherapy. And this is moving forward into some formal prospective clinical trials. Clinical trials will allow patients to access new drugs much before they become available for routine clinical use. It's really important that if you're a patient with amyloidosis, please ask your doctors whether there is an appropriate clinical trial available for you, and they may be able to direct you to the website of the National Amyloidosis Center or the Myeloma UK Clinical Trials Finder, which tells you which clinical trials are available and at what hospitals they're available. Not every trial is suitable for every patient, but if there is a trial suitable for you, then we'll certainly make every effort to ensure that you are able to access a trial center where you could be enrolled on such a clinical trial.